on so the lighting out there has been freaking itself out and I am so sorry because I can't even see what's going on um, but today I wanted to bring you this Taylor Swift inspired tutorial this was inspired by Taylor Swift's CMA um, as you guys may know, she won um, Entertainer of the Year, which is a very huge award, and this is the makeup that I saw that she had on, and it was really, really bright in the corners. She had her blue eyes just glistening, um, and she had a pinkish red lip, so I don't know if it's going to trap on camera, but this is a little bit more pink than it is red, um, which is what she kind of did as well. So I hope that you guys like this look, and I'll show you guys how to do this. So as far as the face goes, I applied foundation, and I tried to do my eyebrows pretty similar. This one looks a little bit better, I think. Um, I also shaped my lips, so you guys do that however you please. As far as highlight goes, I was sure to highlight right here underneath my eye and bring that down to my nose kind of in a triangle motion. Same with this side. I also did the very, very tip of my nose with highlight so that it really accents that area. So I'm going to just apply a little bit more highlight, and just to show you guys, so it's right here at the tip of the nose, and then kind of dragging that into a... V underneath the eyes. It really highlights that one area, really brings our face kind of alive. You can do a little bit here on the chin as well, because that's where Taylor's face naturally is um, a little bit more prominent. I'm also going to do my Cupid's bow. All right, so we're gonna blend this all out later. As far as blush goes, it looks to me like she has a pinkish apricot color. And I'm not gonna do mine very, very much just because this is a daytime look for me. Um, just do a very, very light application, um, even though hers is a little bit more dramatic. So I'm just gonna smile here, and the way she did it is actually taking the color, starting here kind of by the brow, and down onto the apples of her cheeks, really making this triangle very, very noticeable. So I'm going to do it again to the other side, concentrate on the apples of those cheeks, and instead of sweeping up like I normally do, I'm just going in this kind of small, short motion. I'm going to take a very, very small amount of contour on just an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to apply this just kind of this stripe here to my nose. And this is not too much at all, just a very, very tiny little bit. Once I've done that, I'm taking my highlighter brush again. I'm just going to pat some highlight onto there. This is going to make sure that it's not too dramatic. And you see I'm going kind of up and down here. So I'm patting and going up and down so that that way everything kind of meshes in together and it doesn't look really, really awkward. I'm going to take a large blending brush and just be sure to blend this all out completely. I'm going to start at the lightest areas of my face, which would include the eyes, this triangle down here, and the tip of the nose. And then I'm going to move out into the blush and make sure that that's all really, really demure. Next, we get to go into the eyes, which is super, super fun. I'm going to use a priming potion. I'm using Urban Decays. Um, but I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. This is going to ensure long wear and beautiful color. And I know it doesn't look too good, but I also put it right underneath my eyes. So now we're going to get into some color. I'm taking a 214 brush, and I'm going to apply a color by MAC called Crystal Avalanche. A very, very iridescent white shimmery color. I'm going to take some on the brush, and we're going to apply this to our tear duct, um, and then right on both of our lash lines. We're going to do this first so that the priming potion doesn't dry. So you guys can see I'm just very, very thinly, thinly, thinly lining my lash bed here. Next, I'm using a color by MAC called Honesty, and this is a really nice light color. Um, it's kind of a lightish brown. I'm going to apply this all over my lid, just above this white stripe. You guys can see it's just right here on top of this white area and right on the lid. You can cover up the white a little bit here, out towards the um, outer corner. After that, I'm using Sable by MAC, and this is a very, very similar color, just in a darker brown shade. So I'm going to apply this to a 219, and I'm going to apply it just to my crease. So I'm applying right up here, and a little bit to the outer corner. This is going to be kind of a line just above Honesty, and then we're going to blend this out. For this, I'm choosing to use a 224 to blend. For my highlight, I'm using Malt, and I'm only using a tad bit on a 239. Um, this isn't a super fleshy color. It's a little bit fleshy, but not as fleshy as we need it to be. Um, so I'm just going to use this very, very lightly up here on my highlight. Just a light sweeping. Now we get to liner. I'm using CoverGirls in black. Um, and the way I'm going to do this is a little bit different. I'm going to do my entire lower wet line and my entire upper wet line. So basically my entire eye. And I'm just going to take it a little bit into the tear duct. That's all I need for the tear duct. 
Next, very, very lightly, I'm sweeping it across this lower waterline, very lightly. And as we get to this outer corner, I'm going to build a little bit. So in my waterline, it's going to be a little bit darker. And I'm even going to take it down a little bit. So here I'm going a little bit on the actual lashes. We're going to do the same thing on the upper lash line. Just doing our wet line and then really filling it into the corners. Time to apply fake lashes and mascara. So two hours and seven sets of lashes later, I said forget the lashes um, and I had to touch everything up, so I'm so sorry. Next, we're gonna get into lips. And the way Taylor did hers, I noticed that she had a lot of color here um, and she just really, really, really lightened it up. Um, so there's kind of like an outer ring and it's a more of a pinky red than her natural red um, that she always does. So we're gonna try to replicate that to the best of our ability. Once I've applied that outer line, I'm going to like get it on the rest of my lips and then go in with the actual color. I'm using more of a pinky red and I'm just going to apply this completely. So that is all for this Taylor Swift inspired CMA's award look. Um, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that the lighting's alright. Is that better? Sure hope so. I'm sorry about the ending. The lighting out there is ridiculous, so I had to come in here. I hope it's okay, um, but this is what the look is like. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that this helped you out. And be sure to post a comment and tell me what um, kind of videos you guys want to see. So I guess that's it. I'll talk to y'all soon, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.